Today's episode is sponsored to you by A&H Provisions. Meat and hot dogs that are so good, even Goyim understand how amazing they are. It's the next level of kosher food, and the website is kosherdogs.net. Get yours, enjoy them, a and Provisions. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to And Here's Modi. Um, so good to be here. Uh, it's a little strange we're in the afternoon, but um, uh, we are uh, with Leo and with Periel. Hi. And we have a special guest, Jackie. Hey. Uh, Jackie Luxembourg Siegel. Spiegel. Spiegel. Yes. Spiegel. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> we recently did a cooking thing with you yes we did which reminds me to thank our sponsors <laughs> there you go was, it, was that was that a cute segue or no horrible no anyway a and h provisions thank you very much for collaborating with us for this a and h provisions is the best hot dogs in the world the best kosher uh, amazing kosher meats glot kosher meats um website www.kosherdogs.net 30% off from your first order with promo code Modi. Modi. And Seth came to the show last night. And Seth, that's Cute, right. Seth, he did. Ca Seth came. It was his birthday. He came to the oh. show last night at Sony Hall. Happy birthday, Seth. Happy birthday, Seth. This is gonna be probably a few weeks after the your 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 uh that's a good point. The, the show, but, but fine. we still love you and happy birthday. And I actually w wove in the whole, uh, I had a new bit I was working on. Yeah. It's this, this whole thing how like when we get things sent to the house, like Leo gets these sexy things. Like, yeah. And, 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 and I get pickles and kosher meat. <laughs> Le Leo <laughs> gets like underwear and jock straps. And, and, no one's and ever sent me a jock strap. Okay, Charlie didn't send you. And that other one, the leather. No, the not leather, Charlie. Whatever it's called. Someone sent me a Speedo one time. And now you all of a sudden it? it gets, of course I wear it. Yeah. Anyway, Cute. so he gets that. I get kosher meats, and you get a uh, pastrami. Pastrami, and we and our other uh, our other um, sponsor. Sponsor. I don't like the word sponsor. Collaborator. Partner. They're collaborating. Okay. Is Whites and Luxembourg hey. the law firm you want on your side? If you ever chas v'shalom need a law firm, a good friend of the podcast, Arthur Luxembourg, and we have in the studio today. Just happens to be his beautiful daughter, yes, Jackie, who I had the privilege of cooking with. Yes, yes, we we did uh we did a cake. Well, what we does did, Jackie do? Well, hold on, give me a minute here. Let me get to, <laughs> let me get to this. Ooh, we um. First of all, I'm not a cooking person. I'm not a foodie. I don't right. give a damn about food. But I will say right now. I have never looked so good as I did <laughs> in the chef coat you bought me. You looked real good. I you killed it. Really you good. really I had slayed a it. Good hair day. You in the kitchen with the, uh, you just, you had the schmata thing. You looked like you were a butcher. I had the schmata. I had the apron. The apron, apron. We were working. It was good. Hair was up. Hair was good. We threw flour everywhere. Everywhere. We made a major mess. Yes. I was really impressed. I was blown away. Like, I, I, I was blown away by, by you. First of all, first of all, so <laughs> we've had on the podcast, we've had Jay Cohen. Yes. We've had Mike Salam. And these are people who connect, like their Mashiach energy is food. 100%. And so is yours. Major, majorly. Major, yes. major. And it's, I, you can see it. And you could, you know, I couldn't tell. I will tell you one thing after working with you in the kitchen, making croissants. I'm never eating a croissant again. Why? I had no idea that it's half butter. <laughs> oh my god! When she brought that that that, that flour, why do you think they're so the, good? It, it was the most delicious thing in the world. But I was like, I had no idea it was all butter. Honestly, you're better off eating that than a slice of cake. Ooh. Why? Why? Because of the sugar. Uh, sugar is. I mean, listen. There's there will be there's schools of debate for both. Like, what's worse, like saturated fat or glucose? Like. 
they're both they're both evil. Like listen, in, in moderation. moderation. Exactly. exactly. And that's literally my motto. <laughs> Every, there's, and in there's moderation. the title and there's the title of the podcast <laughs> everything in moderation everything 100% in moderation. also we forgot to say that if you do want to find whites and Luxembourg oh, we to do you, website. Go, you go to their website which is whiteslux.com that's right and also now because I've been saying it wrong for five episodes they also bought whitesandlux.com so you did can did you know buy- that <laughs> i didn't you don't care. i'm not no i do but i'm not fully like aware of that okay so, so you- anyway, we're in the kitchen we're cooking we get there we're cooking and uh she's we did a cake and we did um croissant the croissants mm-hmm. and the and you know i've seen you i follow you on instagram yes and so i see you doing it but like in chopped little moments and then like at 4 30 in the morning when 100%. you wake up that's that's my time to shine that's your time, right? Yeah. Really up at 4.30 doing it? 100%. I wake up very, very early. It depends. So on Thursday and Friday, I'll definitely be up by 4 a.m. Cranking it out, making everything fresh for Shabbat. For That's my- when I'm falling asleep. Yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> That's I, when the pills I get, kick like, in. That's when the pills I have friends who send me like reels and stuff at like 3.30 in the morning. And like I'm getting up at 4 and I'm literally like, what are you doing still awake? Like I've been sleeping already for eight and a half hours. Oh. Do, you go, do you go to bed early? Is Very that, early. Okay, so yes. that's, your, that's your jam. Definitely. As the okay. weekend rolls but around. pastry chefs are... And um, bakers are often. Yeah, so we haven't established that she's a classically trained pastry chef. Well, we're getting chef. there. We're, we're anybody working anybody our way over to the there. podcast. That should have been the, in the, the first the, the, 30 the seconds. Zitzflesh, to listen to this. Zitzflesh, my mom loves that word. Okay. It's a, the, What's this flesh? It's a patience. Zit, but what does it mean? Like, I don't know. Like, so I'll tell you. Zitz is to sit in Yiddish, and flesh is meat. So your tuchus, uh, the more the more meat on your you ass. have in your tuchus, the I more you it. can sit. I you have it. more patience. If I eat more of your croissants, I'll have there more meat. You you'll have a lot, lot more flesh. You zit there flesh. you go. Anyway, so you you are a classically tra- trained pastry chef. Yes. From Mom-ish. what's from what you? I went to uh, <laughs> International <laughs> Culinary Center in Soho. It's no longer there, but it, it's now they merged with ICE. The um, like the people that come take the migrants. No, there's a culinary school called Ice, and I think it's downtown. Um, It's um, the something culinary for education. I don't know. Okay, Um, International Culinary Culinary. Academy. Not international. It's um, interstate culinary. uh, Interstate culinary culinary. education. (laughs) But it was it it, it used to be called the French Institute of Culinary Education. When I went there, it was in Soho. A lot of famous chefs went there. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay, so you you went you she graduated obviously and then I can tell now cuz now that we've been uh, a few weeks in the house with Jay Cohen yes. who's also a chef, you learned what you learned there and then you learned your own skills. A hundred percent. She everything we did, she's like, and this is how they tell you to do it, but this is how I do it. <laughs> this is and this is why it comes out much better. And this is you you've you've got your techniques, you got 100%. you've learned and you see and by your three years you're delivering these amazing Amazing packages. Thank I, you. We have one in the studio one here for studio. everyone listening. Yes. Can't see. It is stunning. It is a. Uh, I w- how big is this box? It's pretty it's solidly large. It's eighteen I don't know. by. It would feed a good. It would feed a big. Chunk and it's of all full of people. these amazing cookies and 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 pretzels. And, I put some fun stuff in there. Yeah. Some pretzel toffee, olive oil cake, cookies, little mini it's muffins. It's a spread. It's like a little spread. Yeah. For three years now you've been delivering. So you obviously know from feedback because you do service the Jewish community. So I you do, will yes. get feedback. Mm-hmm. They will let you know what doesn't work and then you you fix it up. I mean, you know our people. You know how they are. I know. I love yeah. our people. They're so listening. do I, but they will tell you and I like that. I like the criticism if they dislike something or if so something... So what's your most popular... Um, delivery and where do you ship to? Like, where do you deliver? For sure. To? So, the most popular thing that I sell is probably cookies. Um, I wish it wasn't, but you know, people love. Cookies. Why? What do you wish it was? What do you wish it was? I wish it was pastry. I wish it was French pastry. I wish it was puff pastry a items. Croissant. A croissant. I a wish croissant's it was. not very sharp as dick. It's Just so not. Be, Why? So, it's because it's got butter. By the way, do you know what this reminds me of? Your, That's exactly right. Your bit that you have about. 
uh, succession, how every time they walk into the room, there's like a spread like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that's what it, there's like a whole, here's your, and here's your breakfast pastries. Yeah. And here's that's the, what it, wait so a second, obviously obviously why Jewish. isn't a croissant for Shabbos? Because there's so, so much let's butter. let's get into that for a second. What's wrong with butter? <laughs> um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with butter and I'm com- in, in complete agreement with you. I personally feel like, why can't we have more dairy on Shabbat? But it is apparently a mitzvah to have meat on Shabbat. And a lot of Jews will not mix milk and meat. Mm. So also a croissant is a breakfast pastry. And like I'll sell you a croissant and I do. I sell them on my website. Um, I sell croissants and they warm them up on Saturday or they don't. I personally would not eat a croissant that was a day old, but my customer base does, and they love it. And it's it's, it's a day old. I we've, would never. we've eaten based with the I stuff wouldn't. you've left. When you send packages to our house, no. weeks later no, we eat that's them. Not true. I do. Listen, that that's was fine, just, but a croissant. That was just the granola. No, the granola is good. Yeah. Who is not eating a croissant the next day? Uh, okay, it, so it, hold yeah. on. Can we, why don't we review what you guys did the other afternoon? What yeah. what did you guys do together? So did. what did you teach Modi? So we did, we made a cake. I taught him how to decorate and build a cake. Um, it was gorgeous. It, it was, was like gorgeous. those milk bar Thank cakes. you. Thank you. And I you. was doing good until we until I focused on making sure the camera gets it. And I was, then I was doing it backwards. Honestly, and you were doing excellent. No, then, it looked really good. Yeah. I was very impressed. It, it did. It looked, Modi's cake looked amazing. It did, You. it fell a bit. Like it, it fell, it fell. You were holding it and it got too heavy or whatever and it fell and it got a little messy. But listen, like. Looked- the day after you made the same cake online, I saw. Yes, yes, I did. I made a very similar cake online and it looked near identical. Did you call it the Modi cake? You can sell it no. as the Modi cake. I, oh, wow. I, I bet you I'd get more Your sales. Your people can talk to my people. And we'll By the way, out. I bet I'd get more sales. The <laughs> Modi cake the is amazing. The Modi cake. Let's do Maybe that. Maybe we should do a collab. Ooh, I think that's sexy. What we gotta do. The Modi that's cake. It. I love that. Wait, is that mic too high for you? Bring it down a I don't little know. bit. It looks turn no, it like, like mine, down. like, Bring it down. like tr- yeah. There yeah. you go. Okay, and push it face. closer to your face. Yeah, yeah her there face you is go. So cute. Okay, so so you now now she delivers these packages, and I swear to God, it's r- literally receiving Mashiach energy. Ooh. When this when the ding dong hits, and there's this package waiting for you, the, the smile is so good, and then you gotta like, okay, when am, when are we hitting this? <laughs> Is it after the gym? Is it before? Is it just something to have? We have guests coming over. Yeah. And it's just like, and can I just tell you, the best thing about your packages, which is Shabbosy packaging, when you have to go to somebody's house for Shabbat, look, do I bring flowers? Do I bring mm. a bottle of wine? wine. Ugh, this so just, stressful. It's so stressful and miserable. This this arrives before you get there. Right. They're already happy with the gift. It could be a part of their serving. It's just amazing. That's the chicest thing. When we've it's, it's only happened once or twice, but when someone sends a host gift ahead of time before yeah. they get there, mm. that's so chic. I like flowers or something before yeah. they before get there. They don't the, walk the, in with the package. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I deliver, so it would arrive before they got there. So and, take notes, people. Yeah. And the thing about The business, while we were talking about croissants and how that's a great thing and, you know, it's not a Shabbosy thing. So I realized that and I realized my market is Jewish and I'm Jewish and I do Shabbat and it's a very important part of my life. I kind of migrated to a more Parv style menu with more um, Shabbat style pastries. So let me just bring Periel and anybody that's that's not completely on move here. During Shabbat, Friday night to Saturday night. Yes we eat a lot of meat. So after you have your Shabbat Friday night dinner, you're fleshik. Your fleshik, your meat. So you can't go grab a croissant, right? Because it's dairy. And now the next day you wake up, you go to synagogue, but in the morning you can have a croissant. That's what I market it for. Right, and yeah. then but when you go to synagogue and you eat a little bit of the kiddush, there you're might done. be meat and the chulant over there. Forget it. As you come home, you're already fleshik. You have to wait six hours before you have it. What's the, the statute of limitations on eating meat until you can eat dairy? So now some people hold by six mm. and some people hours? hold by three hours, yes. I think I hold by three. Uh, yeah, yeah, I hold by, yeah. I okay. mean... Let's not. But that's, anyway, let's not, not belabor the point. Not We're not getting fit. into it. I'm not going to plead the fifth. But but for Shabbos, the better things are parv. Uh, you must like yeah. there is. It's a non-negotiable. On my website, I have everything. It says it's whether it's parv or dairy. And honestly, ninety percent of the website items right now are parv. However, if you are someone who doesn't follow those rules, or you know you're having a brunch or something. 
I do custom stuff. So they'll be like, I want everything. Wait, dairy. how does challah taste so good if there's no butter in it then? It's oil. It's moist. It's it, it's, it's so good. It's oh great, God. right? I know. But it's I mean, got no butter in it. I didn't know challah had, I guess I'm just putting that it's together It's the sugar now. also, you know. And it's, yeah. The bread doesn't have butter in it, does it? A brioche does. There are French breads that have butter in them, but I mean, croissants and like puff pastry type breads, danishes. The croissants ones, you made with Modi were so good. So How good. I, I, was in, I was in shock, but I was, I was still going through the shock of the butter. <laughs> <laughs> it, when, we, when, we, when we made the croissants, she comes it up was with equal this. parts dough, equal parts butter. Actually, no. It was. It's, it's, it's it's really, it looked like a matzah. It looked like a matzah dough, yeah. with a matzah of butter on top of yeah. it, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, "This it's, it was a square." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then we had a. Um, I'm I went dying into. To know, um, well, no, no, I was just saying, like, I went into like a full food coma. I love I, it. I tasted like everything. Not only was I eating the pastries you guys were making, I was eating the bagels, the crew right, had brought. I was just bagels. eating and eating and eating. I was <laughs> also, by the way, eating your garbage, like the <laughs> oh stuff God, that the you scraps. were like, oh, the, the cake scraps, scraps. the, the cake, cake scraps. scraps. That was so great. Good. Yeah, I'm dying to know what. I, I, and I, it's so because I'm telling you that like, with Jake, with Mike, I, I have no connection to food wise. When did it click that you're a pastry chef in your head? Yeah, for sure. Um, when did that like, hi, I'm a pastry chef? <laughs> well, I like that was a, the the title of pastry chef. Like that's like a whole thing. Like, like I'm sure Jake or Mike that they were here, they would even like talk to that. Like getting that title is like the hardest thing to ever achieve, like in the restaurant industry. However, like the trajectory of when I realized I wanted to go into the food industry and like be a, like, I wanted to always be a pastry chef, which I eventually got that title, but wanting to be a baker slash baking slash doing pastry was when I was in college and I had took a few, um, I was at NYU and I took a few classes. It was in a, it was in like a major called food studies. And they taught you a lot about food culture, anthropology, different cultures in around the world and movies about this and how it tied into food and how it was related. And I got very interested in that and always remember growing up, I was very into baking and food with my mom, always on um, um, what's the holiday where we make the hamantashen, Purim. <laughs> Yes. Oh, you said or What's the you said holiday that we make that you said this us is the girl that went to I how many did. years of of North well, Shore Hebrew Academy? Amazing years. It's a great school. What is the um, holiday that we have the hamantash? It's my one of my busiest holidays. Um, you would do that with my mom with my. We had your package. The Oreo, had, Oreo hamantash. The Oreo. Good, right? I said to Leo, I go, Oreo Leo, butter. this is the best poppy seed I've ever had in my life. And I texted seed. you, I go, this is the best poppy. He goes, it's Oreo. Yeah. She goes, it's, <laughs> or <laughs> she goes, it's just Oreo. Tons of high fructose corn syrup. It's like, woo, <laughs> I'm going to get you addicted to that. But, oh my God. Okay, yeah. so so for making how much with your mom. So that, it's I did that and a lot of like, like sometimes my babysitter would come over on Saturday nights when my parents went out for dinner and like we would make like box cake mix and I got really into it. But throughout college, you know, my parents would have guests over. They have a home in the Hamptons. I would bake for like their friends and family. And I always went to baking when I just needed a release. I needed some sort of space to like get out the anxiety of kind of growing up, getting out of the, you know, Jewish yeshiva bubble, like moving to college, just like starting like my own life. And I really feel like with anxieties and stresses of like the outside world of kind of growing up, I always went to that. Mm -hmm. And it, it got me away from my head and it got me to release like a lot of that weird anxiety that I was having. And I loved being in that space. So when I eventually went to culinary school and it was so meticulous and they were so, and I have severe ADHD, like I can't sit still, which is perfect for my job because I don't sit still and I have super high energy. I immediately knew it was a perfect position for me because I would never be sitting still, but I would have to like focus in some regard. So it would like stabilize my life. And I thought it would be perfect for me. I also am a giver. So I, I love giving people like my stuff. I love seeing them smile. I love filling their hearts and their bellies. And just, I love that like, you know, I love that caring vibe. Like that's it's very cathartic thing. for you. It's it cathartic. is majorly. Yes. Yeah. And then, and then you, you just send it and you send out this love and it's, it's amazing. And, and when it comes together, it's the best. And we've spent a Shabbat with your family. Yes. Uh, and I watched you and it smelled the challah being made from start to finish. Yes, And it was there. so delicious and so special and so cozy and yummy. 
It was. And it's always great. A fresh kahala before Shabbat. Like it's not from the store. It's not like, you know, from the grocery store. Yeah. It's like really, I don't know. There's like it's that special. level up. A hundred percent. It's it's amazing. Yeah. Um, I So I just let, let, let people know that this is just available. It's just a nice thing to send somebody. That's majorly like the case. A lot of people, they just go on my website and they order for their family or they have Shabbat dinner with their husband and their kids or their family, their aunt, mom or dad, whatever. And they'll order like box of cookies and challah, whatever. But this is like a great example of things I do. I definitely send gift packages before Shabbat to hostess or whatever. Um, tell them in advance, I'm getting you a gift, dessert. Oh, mm -hmm. So they don't, have to, they don't have to worry about dessert. Don't worry I about got dessert. dessert I'm getting you dessert. Okay. You no, know, it's going to be my gift to you. So um, where do you deliver? All yes, I deliver right now in the Great Neck area. I deliver in the five towns. So Lawrence, Woodmere, Hewlett, um, Cedarhurst. But Teaneck, you deserve you deliver? I don't deliver to Teaneck. I've had some like… Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. I've had some interest in Teaneck, but… Um, until I could get like more a more of a community there that like are interested, I I can't justify it. Okay. Yeah. Um, I deliver to and I deliver to Manhattan and I deliver every Friday or um, holidays. So before a holiday, I would I'll deliver pastries. So it's really for the weekend because most people like pastries on the weekends. Yeah, and I just I, I was, like uh, pastries every day. I was, me too. Uh, me too. Same. But <laughs> the time to indulge, right? The time to indulge. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but Shabbos is like that. But I I just. I'm, what are those cookies called? The, the the colored ones? The sprinkle cookies. The colored cookies. They were, I was at Dina's house on, a, on they were there and I was going to walk out of the kitchen. And yeah. Like one area where she keeps all the pastries. and. My mom has the same thing. Just yeah. in one area. Just one chunk like all the way on the side of the kitchen. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. inside the kitchen the and all the, everything is there. There's challahs and challah rolls and there's cookies and from here, from there, from there, from here. And you just want to avoid that corner. I walked by, I don't know why avoid I grabbed it. those. But I grabbed and I just had one and I said, oh, let me grab one more for the room. It's a friendly one, it's right? A, Wait, are you not going to dive into that box right now? What were you No, I'm in the middle of a podcast right now. I'm going to try to avoid Maybe later. ripping that open and… Uh, and Devouring uh, it. Devouring it, yeah. Oh, really? Um, I thought you were going to get right in there. I'm also on Ozempic, so it's not, not <laughs> screaming to it. me right now. It's not screaming to me. What and, are the… And, yeah, go ahead. No, what are the cookies in there that you're saying are so friendly? The sprinkle ones, oh, you know, the there's sprinkle like cookies. the kids love those sprinkle cookies and even adults like my dad will say like he loves a corn muffin or like he loves a muffin but like my dad low-key like pounds the sprinkle <laughs> cookies. <laughs> yeah. Not you dishing on your dad oh, here. I'm doing it. Not dishing, he loves the sprinkle cookies. He loves cookie. the sprinkles. And I will tell you what else he yeah. loves, a pastrami sandwich from 2nd Avenue Deli. But you know what, he's been good. He really doesn't go down that avenue. Like he he tries to stay away from pastrami That sandwich. was a good 2nd yeah. Avenue. Uh, that, 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 second that avenue. avenue. That that avenue. avenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, yeah. But. Um. Anyway, this is amazing, and I'm so I'm so happy for you that you found your passion, right? Aren't Thank you? Aren't you I'm happy? I'm honestly blessed that I'm I I'm able to do my passion as my career. Um. I think a lot of people are in situations where they end up doing things that you know pay the bills, and you know, just they 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 do it in and out every day, and they're just not really super happy. I'm happy that I found something that does all of it for me, you know, that I could really harness that because I don't think I could work that desk job or I don't think I could really do, you know, anything. Well, you also do a lot of social media, right? So you're like, I do. that's also work. That is, let's talk about that, is <coughs> impossible. I mean, the social media avenue of things. Yeah. It's, it's like the hardest thing ever. I wish... Just, Are you a person who's like pretty comfortable, like naturally to be? Very much. So that's good. It's good, but like I definitely am spitting it out there. Need help with the social media. Like I. I was going to say to you, I was going to say to you, I will, I mean, I, 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 as somebody doing their passion, living it, I'm living my passion. I'm doing my passion. I have it. You need help. Oh, I know. Without Leo, I'd be nowhere. And without a team, it has to be a team. Team Jackie, team Jack Snacks. I was actually Jack like, Snacks. Cody, like you that's super spot a, on. A I was actually, I had this, I broke down to my father this weekend. We were talking about, you know, I just moved back to Great Neck after living in the city for 10 years. And now that's the hometown. That's where I started the business during COVID. And I was saying, let's have an event at the house to get people in the door, introduce them to me again, give them tasters. Let's have a mixologist. Let's have good music, whatever. We're planning 
running this event. And I'm like, I just need to be on all the time. Like, I need help. I'm alone. Like, I need someone to, like, help me with all of this. Yeah. So whoever's listening to this and yes, wants an internship wants or a full-time job. A sous Jackson. chef slash social media manager just slash, slash help with, like, all <laughs> delivery of yeah. slash delivery. It's like these, uh, yeah. these influencers. Slash dance partner. Because just you definitely dance Definitely slash dance partner. Yeah. These, these social media people, they have, you know, content days where they kind of just do their content. Like, I don't have that luxury. Like, I'm working all day. Like, if I can spare that moment, like, where, like, I can put the camera up and, like, I can tape myself and I'm not, like, rushing to get, like, croissant dough done or, like, t tart dough done or, like, make a pie, like, great. Like, I'll have that moment. A lot of times it is in my gym clothes or it is, like, my hair nights up and, like, I kind of just look like, what am I doing? But I think that's just like, I'm trying to get the social media out there. I'm trying to get the content out there. Which is what? What's your handle? Uh, at Jax Snacks. So it's J-A-X-X-S-N-A-X. -X -X. Could not be more difficult. It's so confusing, but I tried to do just like it way simpler. And like all of those handles like years ago were taken. So I the had worst. to kind of adapt and like. Okay. No, but the videos are just you. It's, it's you. I don't like, think it's you, that confusing, by the way. It's, okay. it's, uh, it's super like. Um, it's you having fun. Yeah, it's just you dancing right. in the kitchen, it doesn't really, making stuff. It doesn't stuff. like really sell the fact that it's that it's so delicious. Good. That it's, no, no. When you when no, you do the right. panning, when you do the panning of the cookies, yeah, people get this. I want this in the house. But they don't get any views on that. Yeah, which is crazy. Like when I like, which is something about social media that drives me insane. When I do make a beautiful table of desserts for like a customer that like ordered a bunch of stuffs for like a party, and I'll lay it out and it'll look stunning. I'll get like 500 views on that video. And then I'll do a video of me like dancing like bachata with like, you know, <laughs> Manuel Turiso in the background or like whatever. And like, I'll, I'll be like flinging the flower and like, I'll, I'll put the cookie in the camera and like go close up. And like all of a sudden it's 3,000, 4,000 views. For me, that's a lot. Like, you know, which is bizarre, but. Oh, no, because I'm, you're having fun, you're but having that's fun. also yeah, I'm that's trying to also sell the product though. Also, now Leo told you're me you're part of the product. Yes, you're a part of the product. Fine. You're a part of the product. And, uh, Leo told me if you're not having fun, they're not having fun. Right, that's you have the cardinal to, rule, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's RuPaul's thing. Um, so I that's not RuPaul's thing. That's Leo's thing, honey. Leo's, Leo's, yeah, <laughs> me. Um, well, okay. Copyright trademark. Dot com. Okay. <laughs> so that's it. This is like uh, so. Um, okay. Anything else? No, the only other thing that I'm interested in that we talked about is that you said people give you a hard time sometimes about your outfits on um, your social media. Actually, um, no one is giving me a hard time to my face. Right, of course not. Day. Nobody's going to have the audacity to actually tell you to your face. They're hiding behind their little screen. Do they just host a podcast about it? Uh, no, I'd hope not. Um, I think that, like, definitely I've, I haven't heard anything, like, terrible like about maybe i've heard like oh like oh she shows a lot of her midriff or like let's not dwell on that yeah i don't think let me so tell either. you something anyone who's listening there's a tray a, a box of pastries in front of me right now and it's taking all of the restraint i have not <laughs> to get in there like a bear at a campsite i, I wish eat. you a bear would at a, campsite. <laughs> a bear at a campsite i want to eat those olive oil cakes so bad those are my favorite by the way they look like, so good. I know people like are when like, you can see something you could tell how dense it is oh yeah you can just look at it and you're like that's things that's one of those that's things that's moist and oh, good it's moist. i guess it's good that it's not open though yeah i because feel like be, i would have to eat everything if it's not in wrapped there. in it's wrapped in cellophane <laughs> guys and so you would just hear the the noise of me getting in there for like 20 minutes yeah um Right. So great. Jack Snacks, she yeah, makes guys. beautiful, delicious pastries, parv or not, or, or not parv. Or not parv. Uh, dairy, dairy, I guess. Uh, you deliver that, to- On the website, you can tell them what you, what you want. So they on can, the website, They like, can tell you what you want. They can't- Whoa. Whoa. Okay. They can tell you what they want. Um, they can make their selections. Correct. They can yes. pick, um, for the most part, anything labeled parv, I make parv. If someone wants something dairy, they will text me and I, and I will accommodate them. Yeah. Very accommodating. Who runs the site? Jay locks me. And what's you the girl, website? You need, you need I people. I really like. I really. Like, what's the website? The website is my handle at jacksnacks.com. So it, it's jacksnacks.com. J a x x s n a x dot c o n. Okay, and I'll link it here in the audio. No, we're gonna link it, but yeah, yeah. link yes, <laughs> yeah. But I'm telling you, if you live, especially if you're on Long Island, this would be such an easy pounds, yeah. mitzvah. Or Manhattan. Uh, 
What? Or Manhattan or Great Neck. Oh, no, I, or Manhattan or Great Neck. But I'm just saying, Green, like, yeah. you mostly listed, like, the five towns, Cedarhurst area. Like, Well, I did because your... there's five towns. But Great Neck yeah. is, like, major, and I will personally handle it. Yeah, the then, you get, then you get Jackie herself. You can so. meet me if you, yeah. if you live in Great I Neck. I don't love that. The city, the city I delivered to Why? the Manhattan. No, but they well. know her. Just, but yeah, but the idea is, is, still, is that they is, don't know her. No. Like, you want people who this don't is know you. This is still early. In the early. We're catching this early. We're early. Adopters. I know, but I don't early. like the idea of her like showing up and somebody's gonna like try to like kidnap I, I her. I love it. I love when Khala so, Dali came to our door. Oh, I'm I love sorry, her. who? Khala Dali. I love what? Her. what is that? Uh, she our makes friend, our friend Dali, who made Khalas in yeah. it. Like, Ding dong. I did a she collaboration with her. No, she's so sweet. Yeah, and she's and it was awesome. very sweet when she delivered herself. No, 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 no. I don't like this at all. So, I watch okay. way too much Law and Order. So, oh, me too. I yeah. love that show. But to be <laughs> fair, I only order. deliver to people that I know them already. At right, this moment, I'm saying at this the moment I- we'll thank <laughs> Le- Whites and Luxembourg. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Law and Order. <laughs> SVU. Tutum. Okay. Um... I saw her, by the way, oh. uptown, Mariska, Mariska Hargaday. Mariska. Yeah, yeah. And I almost Died. lost my mind. Oh my god! I don't watch the show. I, I love. Oh my god! I was on the show. I was on. No! I was on. No, no, no. What? I was on. No, you weren't. I was on CS. CSI. 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 Same, Same thing. thing. Same I have genre. Very similar. Same thing. I played this. I played a Hasidic. I. Oh my oh, god! It was a I stretch was for you. Ed <laughs> with Ed Asner. <laughs> Oh well, you have no idea. You have no idea. Who I don't know that who that is, it's but okay. like the fact no. that you were on the show. Is- Shayfully, you don't need to know who that is. Uh, <laughs> he was on a million shows. Ed Asner played a um, a guy that was uh, a concentration camp guard. Oh my god! Who right when the when they were liberated, he tattooed himself the number on him. Oh my god! And escaped as like as if he was a prisoner. And then they're like, I "Hey, was, this one's kind of chunky." I was his. I was his son. Religious, because then he became like, but he was never Jewish. He was like, he was a, he was a, a guard. Is that and based on a true story? I, I don't know, but it was, That's it was, uh, I was his son. So That's it nuts. was, but so, so why were we there? I don't know. CSI. I was yeah, we were CSI. Oh, me getting kidnapped, potentially delivering we're my not, stuff. Let's not talk. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Potentially we need to, getting no one's kidnapped. kidnapped you in Great Neck. They all know you. I don't yeah, think but we're so. trying to branch out over here. So I'm trying to branch out and I think Not that's trying. Good. You are branching out. Never I, use the word you, try. Moni. Never yes, use I, the word okay, try. That's not in my vocabulary. Trying. I never try. Never use the word do, try. Do, do, do. Always. Okay. The only thing I will say about that comment is that I was never delivering anything. It was only me when I was living in Manhattan. I had delivery men come pick up my stuff drop it off, five towns, Manhattan, Great Neck. When I moved back to Great Neck, I really wanted people to feel the, my energy there. Mm-hmm. I just moved back. So for the past two weeks, I've been, I know these people. I see them face to face. I want to say, hi, I'm here. Like, I'm back in the community. Like, don't forget me type of Same. thing. Same. I, I tried to have somebody else tell my jokes. I had to go deliver to myself. <laughs> that was I good. Had, That's I, good, Modi. That was good. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Never works. Huh? Okay. So um, okay. So we have your handle, yes. Jack Snacks. Yes. Um, we'll link it to the to the, to, to the to this podcast. I, I want to thank you for bringing me into your kitchen. Of it course. was so much fun. No, and, thank you. It yeah, was hopefully awesome. Hopefully by the time this is live, you can go to the YouTube channel and we'll have that full video up of Modi uh, being Jackie's sous chef. We had for some the funny moments. We really did. It was fun. It was, it was an amazing, it was a it was vibe. amazing time. It was a it was vibe. Um, and uh, that's it. Um, okay. Me, as far as me, uh, modilive.com. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know when this is airing, so let's... But definitely after, this, definitely after the... Um, the chosen comedy chosen comedy festival, festival and the gig in Baltimore. So there, modilive.com. Go visit the site. There's merch now. Mashiach Energy hats that are over that. thirty countries. It has reached. No two. way. I'm not kidding you. That's thirty. Three zero. That's a huge accomplishment. It's huge. Wow. I'm, I, I, you didn't think to mention that in our meeting earlier today? I didn't. I didn't. I should have. What an idiot. We'll talk about that. Um, later. Uh, and um, and that's it. Uh, Moodlove.com. Uh, be the f- again. Thank you very much to A and H for collaborating with us, <laughs> and uh, thank you uh, Whites and Luxembourg. And um, be the friend who brings the friends to the comedy show. Find a show next to you, near you, and, and invite friends and buy tickets. They'll come. Mashiach energy to everybody. Thank you all very much. And thank you, Jackie. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye.